Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So the next instalment in my Colour of Emotions series is all about the red. Red colour, a passionate, exciting colour. So the colour red has many different emotions attached to that. So for me, when I think about red, I think about love, passion, excitement, vibrancy, um, but it can also mean danger or drawing attention. So when I'm out driving, I look at the road signs and the, the caution ones, the, the beware ones are red. Our traffic lights, you know, stop is red. So that's, you know, that, that's some of the ways that industry uses the colour red. It also, um, for me, kind of sparks energy. So red is a really energetic colour as well. So there's some of the emotions that I associate with red. And I'd love to hear what you think about what red stands for you. It can be a favourite colour of yours. You know, it doesn't mean that it has to necessarily be a danger emotion always associated with red. We've got Valentine's Day coming up soon. And, you know, there's a, a lot of Valentine's Day is about red hearts, love. So it can mean various things. And this is what this series is all about, is exploring those emotions that are associated with those colours. So I'm going to do a piece today that's a Chaos Dutch Pour, and I'm going to do it on a white base because I really want that red to shine through. I'm not going to flood the canvas completely in red. I want to show some contrast. So I'm going to use some red colours which is going to be, which is going to form the, the main basis of the piece. But I also want to kind of interlink some silver, some gold, some white, and just a touch of black as well to kind of make that red colour pop. I'm really excited for this piece. And thank you so much to everybody who's enjoying this series along with me. The Colour of Emotion series is something that I'm really excited to explore for the next few months, maybe even the next year. I'm just seeing how it goes. But let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting me. And let's see what we can create. OK, so I'm using a 12 by 12 inch canvas today. And I'm going to just put some white titanium on the base. I'm not going to fully cover the base because at the bottom of this, I'm going to put some of my colours because that's how I'm going to do the Chaos Dutch Pour. So the idea is to ensure that the white paint on this part of the canvas has a very consistent layer. And then I will use my colours at the bottom to just randomly place the colours, layer them on top of each other. And then I will blow this white paint over all those colours. Hopefully I'll be able to create some cells. But I don't always have to create cells, but I think that's what's going to give this piece some depth. So fingers crossed that happens. And then I will blow that colour back over the white to kind of create a design. So I need to make sure that the base colour is consistent. I always say if you can get your base consistent, and the um, the paint is layered, um, well, without any puddles really, then you're on to a winner. Because I think creating the right base is the key to success for the creations. That's what I found anyway. So here we go. So red is, is so this piece is all about red and I want red to be the dominant colour. I'm going to include those other colours for a bit of contrast. But red is the piece for today. And as I said, you know, red can mean various things to various people. Some people, it's their favourite colour. For me, I don't really use red a lot. So it's a colour that does intrigue me. And I, I you know, maybe I'm scared to use red because it's quite a powerful colour. But this is a real fun experiment. And this Colour of Emotion series is something that I'm exploring and I'm enjoying and I and I hope you are too. So, red. Let's think about that. So it's about excitement, energy, passion, courage, attention. And I know that red is used to stimulate. It creates urgency. It draws attention to it as a as caution, but it's also used as encouragement and it can be love. Um, so that there's all those kind of emotions that are attached to this colour. 
when I was planning this piece, I did think about having a, a red base. But what I wanted to kind of convey and demonstrate with using red was I can also use some other colours like gold, a, a touch of black and some silver to really get a pop and a, and a contrast to almost kind of um, amplify what that red looks like and how that red can be um, designed and created on a white base. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm just filling in some of the gaps. I'm using some more white, a um, bit more gold. And then what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to blow the white paint over the top of those colours. And I'm going to kind of stop and see what kind of design is emerging. I'm hoping, <laughs> fingers crossed, that I do get some cells because I'd really like to blow those out and you know expand them over the canvas using my blow dryer so i'm just getting rid of the air bubbles as always guys i've only just you like mixed up my paints and um it's really important to get rid of those bubbles i might use the torch again a little bit later just to see if i can expand any cells if if that's what i can create you'll notice that the paint is quite thick and normally for a Dutch pour, it would be a lot more fluid. But what I decided to do was make it slightly thicker because I didn't want the paints to muddy. And having that paint slightly thicker for me enables it to kind of keep that colour and keep that vibrancy. So I didn't want that red to kind of dull down. I wanted it to still be very bright when I blow it out across the piece. And I managed to do that by keeping that base colour slightly thicker than I normally would on a Dutch pour. Wow, some of the some of the cells and some of the design are just amazing. Um, I'm going to torch just to see if I can get anything else out. But I'm also going to take you down on that canvas now so you can see exactly what I see. I absolutely love it. Maybe I should just keep it like this. <laughs> I've finished. I've, I'm done. No, I'm only joking. Let me just take you in just so I can show you. Some of those cells are gorgeous. I, I probably am going to lose some of that as I continue to blow. But yeah, I really love this colour. And I'm hoping the red really pops through when I blow this out. Okay, so yeah, I love I love all this. Right, time to blow it out. And I'm going to also think about the composition. So I obviously want red to be the main dominance because this is what this piece is all about. It's about the colour and the emotions of red. So as I'm blowing out, I'm just having a look as I go to one see how far I can blow the paint out and two I, I want to try and keep some of the other colours mixed within that red wow look at that black that's just popped through I really really like that it really helps that red pop okay so I'm just going to blow out the design I've managed to keep some of these cells which I'm really really happy about and as I said, it's, you know, the, the thicker paint is just helping me control those colours slightly more. So as you can see, I'm just blowing some of that design out. I've used the, the dryer to do the majority of it, but it's quite delicate. And I want to make sure that I can kind of keep some of the, the design that I've already got on that base. So I'm just using my mouth to blow out the design and look at the perspective. Look at the composition. This is actually a really, really happy piece. So when I said to you, what, you know, what does the colour red mean to you? I didn't say happy initially, but when I look at it, this is for me about energy and excitement and happiness. So, yeah, I'm... I'm really happy with how this is turning out and I'd love to know what you think. I'm going to take you down shortly just so you can see the detail and so you can see what I see. But yeah, this is this is going really, really well. OK, so I'm just going to use the torch um, not only to pop the air bubbles, but I've got some cells there and I want to see what other cells I could maybe bring out in this piece. I'm just going to torch the top there because that white does still have some bubbles. But yeah, let me know, guys, what you think. I'm going to take you in for a look. Um, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I use that gold and that silver as well, because that I think that helps make the red pop. So here we go. This is what I see. What do you think? I love some of this detail here. I managed to keep some of those cells. How the gold works with that red is amazing. I'm, I'm so happy I included that. And just that touch of black, it just helps contrast. And I just, I just think it helps that piece to pop and almost convey that excitement and that passion that I wanted to kind of put across in this piece. Okay, what I'll do is I will let this dry and I will then show you the dried version and fingers crossed it keeps that vibrancy of the red. So I'll take you in to have a look at the dried result. And here we go. It's fully dry and I'm so proud that it's all, you know, it's literally exactly how you saw it with the wet version. I love some of that detail in there with the gold cells that have popped through that paint. I love the red. I love the black also that's kind of allowed that contrast. I'm really happy with this and I don't tend to work with a lot of reds. So maybe I will in the future. It's very happy piece for me. It's a um, a passionate piece and an exciting piece. I'd love to hear what you think and I'd love to hear what you think about this series. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.